shoves it up off the glass, can't get it to go, and the rebound is pulled down by Rocky Cruiser. Keep an eye on that matchup. They do not want to double inside on Douglas Wilson. Now the Bison with their first possession. Eighth title game in the last ten years, and the fourth straight, and they turn it over on their opening possession. Arians, turn around. The lefty, no. This team was really good from the field. Shot just under 60%. Road goals for NDSU. Tim Stewart, Rob Kuhneman, and Brian Anslinger are the officiating crew here tonight. And we're underway for the Summit League Championship. And the opening tip is controlled by Alex Arians of South Dakota State. They go right inside to Douglas Wilson. Wilson shoves it up off the glass, can't get it to go, and the rebound is pulled down by Rocky Cruiser. Keep an eye on that matchup. They do not want to double inside on Douglas Wilson. Now the Bison with their first possession. Eighth title game in the last ten years, and the fourth straight, and they turn it over on their opening possession. Arians, turn around. The lefty, no. This team was really good from the field. Shot just under 60% in yesterday's game at the Jackrabbits 0 for 2 to start. They're one of the best shooting teams in the nation from 2 and from 3 point range. And North Dakota State turns it over again. Little nerves coming out here, Clay. As these guys know what the next 40 minutes mean. Someone's going to punch their ticket to the big dance and somebody's not going to be dancing. Here's that Wilson again. One-on-one -on -one matchup again. Blocked by Nelson. Kept alive by Wilson, but he stepped on the line. And I think you're right about this jerky start. It's a feeling out process here in the early going, and Nobody's feeling really good right now. Well, these two teams know each other really well. The personnel, the coaching staffs. Let's see if we get the tempo picked up. Rocky Cruiser, the 6'10 stretch five, hops into the lane. Bad shot. Wilson got a piece of it. And now here come the Jackrabbits. Wilson probes. Arians from the wing. And the best three-point shooting team in the country has their first. Set up by Wilson. Now he is a downhill player. You've got to meet him earlier at the point of attack, or he will make plays at the rim or the kick out. Nelson will try to answer with a three. No. So Arians now over a thousand career points. Shireman a deep three. And now the Jackrabbits are starting to heat up. Got to find him at half court. Baylor Shireman will light you up. 77 triples on the season. South Dakota State has scored 90 points or better 12 times. Once they get going, they're hard to stop. But there is the first basket for the Bison. It comes from Sam Griesel. Sam Hoops takes it right to the rim. He's flourished in this point guard position. He told me, having the most fun of my basketball career. Nice reverse by Douglas Wilson. His third and final year at South Dakota State. His last chance in front of these home fans in South Dakota. Won a Juco National Championship at Kirkwood. That's three times now that Wilson has gotten to the rim. After a slow start, starting to pick up now. Here's Griesel again. Nice feed from Tyree Eady, the versatile veteran backcourt mate. And that cuts the lead in half. Griesel with his hands ready. Catch and finish. North Dakota State lost two close games to South Dakota State this year, both by four points. In those two games, they got beat up by points in the paint. Something to watch tonight. Off the easily miss, here comes Griesel. Chance to cut into the lead. Poked away by Shireman. Shireman in free flight, and he'll lay it up and in. 
Shireman can make his presence felt at both ends. High skill set, the offensive end. Not all turnovers are created the same, and Shireman gets an easy run out. Nelson off that lob, tipped out. And that's going to be a foul on Shireman. And he doesn't like it, neither do these hostile Jackrabbit fans. To coaching. Henderson is a former principal and his educational style is what landed him the job with Richmond in 2014 because Richmond's the same way. The two won a championship together and guys, we'll see which one gets to take home the championship tonight. All right, Elena, thank you. Here's Nelson. No. And a foul over the back on Grant Nelson, his first. Arians giving up inches to Nelson, able to hold his ground. Easily, the pull-up jumper got it. Former starter at Nebraska, Charlie Easley. Let's go second side, third side, and then the penetration. Easy's got that hand wrap from a broken wrist. It's just superstition now with that tape on it. Yeah, that's healed up for a while. Yeah, he just he likes the tape. Nice crossover move by Griesel. And then taking the charge is Zeke Mayo. So Griesel picks up the foul. The freshman in great position. Help side, outside the restricted area. Zeke Mayo creates another turnover. And that's the fourth on North Dakota State here in the first half. Well, this is the start, at least as far as the score that South Dakota State wanted. And North Dakota State, they came out like a house of fire last night in the semifinals against Oral Roberts. And that's not happening tonight. You need to get up. You can't play from behind against this... Jackrabbit team, they're just too efficient at the offensive end. That's kicked. And Andrew Morgan is going to check in. Wilson, what a move. South Dakota State started 0 for 3. They've hit six of their last seven. Well, the special teams of basketball's OB plays. They got the matchup they wanted with Wilson on Griesel. Put him in the spin cycle. Harden Hayes, the sophomore from Moorhead, Minnesota, knocks down the three. Oh, that's a big three by Harden Hayes. Loosen up the defense. Mayo, Wilson, floater. Got it. Boy, he is hard to stop. He is a tough matchup inside. First tamer. Wilson's having his way in the paint. 16 to 7, North Dakota State. Here's Malik Harden Hayes getting North Dakota State back into this one single handedly. Why not? He's hit 13 on the season. You going to play off me? I'm going to get in the rhythm step in three ball. An errant pass for Mayo intended for Wilson. And so now South Dakota State gives it away. Malik Harden Hayes had two points in 16 minutes last night. He's got six off the bench here for the Bison. Here's our principal need to know. North Dakota State seeking their fifth tournament title in the last nine years. South Dakota State undefeated in the conference this year. First time that has happened in conference history. But again, this is a one-bid league. Got to win this one. Backside rebound cleared by Apple. An ISO for Wilson again. He's going to back him down. Now yeah, Wilson is fouled. 13 3 to go here in the first half. 16-10 South Dakota State. It's a balanced team. 
Five players basically in double figures, including Wilson. Wilson is too strong for Harden Hayes. Just backs him right down, old school NBA style. Picks up the foul. So Wilson's going to sit down. Now here's Apple on the baseline. Good adjustment there for Luke Apple, the Summit League sixth man of the year. That is lather, rinse, repeat. Same OB play they ran to get Wilson a bucket. That time they ran that ISO for Luke Apple. Bison have hit their last five shots. They've been trailing from the outset. That was an off-balance look there for Bowden Sunberg. Sunberg, the uh, freshman out of Jamestown, North Dakota. Never got his feet set, Clay. Shireman drops it down to Matt Dentlinger. Off the rim for Matt Dentlinger, the 6'8 junior out of Iowa. Well, North Dakota State, they don't want to double on the post. They don't want to get themselves in a rotation on the perimeter with the great three-point shooters that the Jackrabbits have. Well, Harden Hayes trying to do it inside as well, and he does. That puts a stone in your oatmeal, your sky report. What are you going to do with Harden Hayes? Came in averaging five a game. He has scored the last eight for the Bison. Apple. Long rebound comes out for the Jacks. They'll reset the shot clock. It's going to come down to who can win the one-on-one -on -one battles inside. Shireman off the rim. The only player in D1 to lead his conference in rebounds and assists, Baylor Shireman. He is a stat sheet stuffer. And now we get a foul with 11-11 to go here in the first half. It's a six-point lead for the Jacks. ESPN's exclusive presentation of college basketball is brought have all the points for North Dakota State head coach David Richmond's team. Five for five combined, shooting the rest of the team 0 for 6. That's got to be a little disconcerting for David. And David Richmond's eighth season, 159 wins. Great record in the Summit League tourney, 14 and 4. Star's career as an assistant at NDSU. I got to call his second game as a head coach. He went and played the Iowa Hawkeyes that year. They went to the NCAA tournament as a rookie coach. The Bison, 2015. Well, he's, he's won this tournament three times, including his first year as head coach in 2015 when Eric Henderson was his assistant. A lot of ties between those two coaches. Wilson with the right hand, and it rolls down. Douglas Wilson, if he keeps doing that, Kevin, that backing down the defense, I, I just don't know that he's going to be stopped much. Well, that's the one-on-one -on -one battles that North Dakota State needs to win, and right now they are losing that battle. They're going to have to send a second defender. Sam Griesel, a couple of points so far. He needs to get going. There's Jarius Cook from the wing, a fixture in the Bison backcourt the last couple of years. Pulls Big, North Dakota State within five. Big three ball. Slow start by the Bison. Head. Four turnovers. They've kind of settled now, Clay. The offensive end. Arians, a nice turnaround. Alex, versatile call. Hits another two. Morgan, the 6'10 freshman. Well, Morgan is healthy again. Excellent up and under move by the postman. Morgan at 6'10. The old school ball fake. South the mark for Mayo. 30 seconds to go, two second differential between game and shot clock. And NDS, you can. Pretty much work this clock down. Well, we need to get the directions from the bench from David Richmond. What they're going to run. It's going to be ISO for Nelson. 
Nelson against Shireman. Nelson wins that battle against the player of the year. Oh, they call the unicorn. What a sweet move by the big man. And that brings us to the half. 33-28. South Dakota State with the lead after 20 minutes in the Summit League Championship game. It's time to... Stars got to stop, step up and shine in the big moments. And nobody with double figures for either team. As you look at our game summary, South Dakota State, 33 points in the first half. They've scored 90 a bunch of times this year, 12 times. 87 points is what they average, second most in the country. They're shooting 41%. They average 53, which is an off-the-charts number. And their three-point shooting leads the country. 33% only in the first half. And there is Kreisel getting it started for the Bison here in the second frame. Now just down three. Good ISO move for Sammy Hoops. Early basket. There's a foul on Tyree Eady. Your best perimeter defender got in there a little bit too close. Eady, no points, no fouls in the first half. That's his first. Well, both coaches start off the same thing. They're going to ISO their stars on the block. And he agrees with a turnaround. That soft left hander gets it off the 10 and it drops through. Here's Zeke Mayo. Keep it on the perimeter. Alex Arians, the veteran, working his way down in for the mid-range jumper. He's been exceptional today. The left-hander. He hasn't missed a start this year. Always can count on Alex Arians. North Dakota State, they got the decided height advantage against these Jackrabbits. They keep it on the perimeter with Edie, and he sinks his first basket. Need some three balls to loosen up the middle. They got the Swiss, they run inside, see if they can get Wilson a touch. Shireman found a seam, got it, and won. Watch the ball moving on this one. Kick out, clicks his heels, knocks it in. They're trying to take away Sharman's left hand. He puts it on the wood with his right, gets all the way to rim. That is the first foul shot of the game. Three-point play for Baylor Shireman, the player of the year in the Summit League. Well, both stars are starting to shine here to start the second half. Riesel for NDSU and Shireman. For the Jackrabbits. And there's a foul on the baseline. It's going to go against South Dakota State. It's Charlie easily picking up his first foul. He broke his hand early in the season. You see that it's taped up. And uh, we talked about this uh, a little bit earlier. Bears repeating. It has healed up. But uh, because he's so superstitious and he's been playing well, there's no way in heck he's taking it off. He's keeping the tape on. He didn't have it on there practice today. I think he just tapes up for game time. <laughs> Athletes sometimes are so silly. Oh, well, they're a superstitious match. Yeah. yeah, they sure are. But when you've won 20 in a row, you're not going to do anything to screw it up. And there is Wilson with the right hand hook. Boy, he was good, Kevin, in the first half. He has great skill set. That way underneath the rim and soft touch up the other side. Riesel took advantage of Shireman who slipped, but he couldn't finish at the rim. Now Mayo wants to push the tempo. Trying to feed a pocket pass for Mayo, and it's uh, picked off by Edie. Both teams trying to pick up the pace here in the second half. Edie steps into the lane. Got it. He's got five here since halftime. Both coaches are electing to go mono mono on the post. Even if you send a forward in there, no doubles coming in. They do not want the defense distorted. Give up open threes, but I tell you what, Clay, when you play a team two times in a season, you know what they're going to do. It's hard to beat a team three times in a year. South Dakota State's taken down the Bison twice. Mayo goes to the other side of the 10 and finishes. Zeke Mayo. 
now with six. I like the play of the freshman, Mayo. And both teams working it inside here. Last several possessions. Freshman out of Lawrence, Kansas. Freeze the defender with the shot fake and then goes underneath the rim so the defender cannot get to it. Zeke Mayo is playing like an upperclassman. Charlie easily just picked up his second foul. It sends Edie to the line. 81% foul shooter. Both of these teams good at the strike, by the way. Both shooting 76% as a team, but we haven't seen a lot of foul <laughs> shots. Yeah, first half. Zero trips to the charity stripe. <laughs> Combined for both teams. In this field, both teams trying to pick up the pace here in the second half. Get into teams are rhythm offensively. They got to get better rhythm going. So Douglas Wilson there on the bench for South Dakota State. And Piercy still in some discomfort. He had an eye issue in the first half. That reverse doesn't go for Arians. Cleared by the Bison and Greasel will push the. Offense into the front court. South Dakota State. Kind of hot shooting here in the second half. Now North Dakota State trying to close the gap. They're going to wave that off. Foul was on the floor against Cruiser. With 15.51 to go here in the second half. It's a five-point lead for the Jackrabbits. We need to find the better shot from Coach Richmond. He said we're playing soft. We need more offensive rebounds. They've notched one now, so you should be happier about that. And you see David Richmond on the right. Mark Anderson, uh, his former assistant, Summit League Coach of the Year for the second time. Jacks by five with 15.50 to go. The coach is still good friends and their wives. Alicia and Stephanie are also remained good friends. That rattles in for Rocky Cruiser. First team all summit. Those are his first points. He averages 16. That's a good sign for the Bison. He was 0 for 6 in the first half for Rocky. He knew he was going to get the lid off. That is a lid lifter for Rocky Cruiser. Well, it feels good to see one go in. But who facilitates? Sam Greasel with the kick out. Rocky Cruiser. Cruiser knocks it in. Well, Luke Apple's going to have to sit down for the Jackrabbits. He just committed his third foul. And so now that's going to be weighing on Eric Henderson's mind. With a lot of time left here in the second half. Well, we've seen Doug Wilson. He's been going in and out of the lineup. Had that eye issue earlier. This is back on the floor now. This the 6'10 Nelson. Boy, that's good touch for a big man. Freshman out of Devil's Lake, North Dakota. He's got the height advantage and he's using it to get to his sweet spot. Last year's sixth man of the year in the summit. He's been primarily a starter this year. He's been working on that postseason mustache, as you can see. I need to work a little harder. Yeah, he's a little, he's a, <laughs> doesn't need any trimming yet. Here's Wilson again. More points in the paint for the Jackrabbits. Doug Wilson with a dozen. And a North Dakota State turnover. Boy, every time that North Dakota State creeps within a basket or two, we just can't seal the deal to, to tie it up or take the lead. They had four early turnovers. Now Wilson again. Boy, he's so hard to stop from underneath. Upper body strength. The power to finish and the use of the window by Douglas Wilson. And it's back to a five-point game. NDSU has won this tournament five times the last time in 2020. But COVID shut the big dance down, so they didn't get to go. Trying to get there this year. Greasel fouled out high by Shireman. Douglas Wilson 
He's got 14. You gotta let the big dog eat. Spins round, kisses that one off the window, and then underneath with the footwork and balance. Squares his shoulders up, finishes with power through the defender. He creates his shot so well. And then the other thing is he draws so much contact, he gets to the line a ton. Over 200 times this year, he's found himself the foul. Yeah, I remember him coming out Des Moines Hoover High School. That was about 30 pounds of muscle ago. With the Kirkwood All-American, brought home a Junior College National Championship. Lob, and Wilson goes airborne, comes down hard on his back. Zeke Mayo was setting up Douglas Wilson, who was coming in like an airliner for a dunk, and it just failed to click. He was in liftoff mode. So, Wilson, who spent a little time on the bench with an apparent eye issue earlier, I think you gotta wonder if that back's gonna start to tighten up on him in a little bit because he crashed down pretty hard. You see Apple is back up off the bench. He might be ready to come back in. And Apple and Wilson were teammates on that national championship team at Kirkwood, and Brian Pearson, the assistant, was the coach. And the continuation of three-point opportunity for the Bison. As Greasel's gonna go to the line. Well, Apple comes in, but Douglas Wilson stays. First time we've seen this lineup with the Twin Towers for the Jackrabbits. And it's not a big roster for South Dakota State. Wilson is their biggest guy. And that's 6-7. It is a decided height advantage for North Dakota State. They got a couple of 6-10s or 6-11 in that front line. Wilson's one of those guys at 6'7 that plays much bigger than he is. And now the matchup on Sam Griesel. See if they can use that one. He's able to tip it out of bounds. Fourth time, NDSU and South Dakota State meeting in the final. The Jacks won it in 2013 and 2016. North Dakota State won it in 2015. They have had some great battles over the last 10 plus years in this league. on the perimeter three to shoot shireman step back three off the mark shireman has not gotten any good looks no. or what i would call rhythm shots they're taking away his space and fadeaways he's been limited greasel will get back to the foul line yeah shireman 22 and 23 in the two games against ndsu this year but they have not made anything come easy for the player of the year. And, and that would make sense. I'm sure David Richmond and his team spent a ton of time in the scouting report talking about number three. We got that straight line drive earlier in this half. But I tell you who's coming on right now is Sam Diesel. He is starting to flex his muscles for the Bison. Making plays and getting to the free throw line. There were four combined fouls in the first half of this game. We're up to four already here in the second half. As neither team got to the line in the first 20 minutes, but the foul shooting is coming into play. Reason starting to stuff the stat sheet. He's got 12, six rebounds, five dimes. We'll have to settle for one or of two at the strike. It's a one-point lead for the Jackrabbits. The numbers. Here's easily all alone in the wing. Got it. The Kyrie Eady was down. They had five on four. Great patience. And Wilson find the open man in the corner. And yes, you will have to settle for one shot. 11.40 to play. A trip to the big dance on the line in the cemetery. Shireman to Wilson. That's the teamwork we have seen between those two all year. Ball screen. Shireman with great height at six foot six. Throws it up to the rim. Wilson's got 16 on the board. 
Another three attempts. Scuttenberg sees it roll off. Wilson clears it. Crowd wants a foul. Wilson pulls in on a double-double. NDSU got within one, and just like that, it's back to a six-point lead for the Jets. That three out of the corner was huge for SDSU. 10.46 to go. This is great ball, but it easily brings the bell from... And a steal. South Dakota State got top 25 votes the last several weeks, but Joe Lenardi, our bracketologist, has the summit as a one-bid league. The Jacks know they've got to win the tournament. Both of these teams have to win the tournament to get into the big dance. I tell you what, I would not want to face either of these teams in the NCAA tournament. Jack Rams with a 64 net. Lenardi's got him as a 12 seed. His bracket has got him going against Alabama. Cruisers had a quiet night. The Cruiser lost it. Able to get it back. Five on the shot clock here for Cook. Cook, the crossover. An extra pass. They're in trouble. Got to hurry. Fractured possession. The Bison. Here's Dentlinger. He's been a great bench presence for the Jacks this year, especially down in the post. Behind Wilson. They need him now. Shireman. A jitterbug move. Fade away. Off the back iron. Loose ball. And here comes North Dakota State with nine and a half to play. The defense on Shireman has been exceptional. He's got nothing easy. Cruiser tries a three. Nelson, the 6'11 freshman, tried to tip it in, and he's fouled going up. Big break for the Bison. Wait, that is only the second offensive rebound for the Bison. And they needed it. And so that's the third foul on Charlie Easley as Grant Nelson goes to the line. A 75% foul shooter. He's got six points tonight. Here comes Wilson back into the game. North Dakota State with zero second chance points. He misses that front of that two shot foul. He gets the back end. And ESU's been hot. They've won nine of their last ten. A confident bunch coming into this title tilt with the Jackrabbits. And you would think the pressure would be on the Jackrabbits with that big winning streak. And look who's back in the game. And he misses Wilson. that shot. Penetrating. Edie had his pocket pick. Easily poked it away. Great hands. Dig it out. Arians feeds Mayo on the baseline. He attacks. And he draws contact. Cruiser picks up the foul. Mayo has been exceptional this game. Attacking the rim. And so Mayo's going to go to the line. There you see Cruiser. David Richmond says has 8% body fat. That's it. Made me sick to my stomach. I couldn't find 8%. <laughs> I got a lot of 8%. They add up to a lot. I was seeing about two and a half. So, well, if your name's Rocky, you can't have much body fat. No. Right? North Dakota State, one field goal since the 15-02 mark. The Bison need to wake this offense up. As they're down now, 53-46 under nine to play. Cut off on the baseline by Easley, who's having a great second half. And now Cruiser is poked by Wilson. Dribble weave outside, getting the ball side to side, shift the defense, and you find the one-on-one -on -one matchup. No free throws in the first half. 
Bison or the Jackrabbits. Now you're starting to see NDSU be more aggressive. Wilson's going to sit down with his third foul. I think had he picked that up, he would have stayed in the game, but it's more about the fouls now than the injuries. Uh, and also, Luke Apple with three fouls. That puts Matt Detlinger in there. Now, Detlinger was a starter earlier in the season. Cruiser got them both. He's got four now. We had the goose egg at halftime. Baraki, you knew that was not going to continue. Last eight games decided by five points or fewer between these two. South Dakota State winning six of the last eight. We've got another tight one here in Sioux Falls in the championship game of the summit. The two regular season games, Kevin, were decided by four points. They were a little more high scoring than these, than what we're seeing here tonight, but those were exciting finishes. Yeah, one was in the 90s, 90 to 86, the other one 80 to 76. Detlinger had swatted away by Griesel. Get those post isos. Working his way down, Cruiser just not his night inside. They have defended him so well. He cannot get to his spot. It got him pushed out about that extra two feet, and that makes a huge difference. You're trying to put up that jump hook. Mayo deep three. Not this time. The third one under the screen, Mayo thought he tries luck. South Dakota State, 4 of 13 from outside the arc. It has not been a vintage SDSU three-point shooting night. Jarius Cook, little finger roll falling away to the right. Nice cut by Cook. That's the first field goal by either team since it was at the 11.33 mark of the half. They're trying to get Douglas Wilson back in the game. There we go. Shireman sees it swim out. That is a good look for Shireman, but it wouldn't go down. Nelson trying to get some touches inside. I don't know how that wasn't traveling. Cruiser took about 11 steps there to fear. Deep three, taking advantage is Griesel with the three-point shot. We're tied at 53. Sammy Hoops with 15. He's trying to lead the charge back. First tie since the six and a half minute mark of the first half. Shireman going to work. And that's going to be a foul on Scunberg. Timeout on the floor. 6.30 to go. It's a 7 nothing run for NDSU. Sammy Hoop says he's never had so much fun in this second. As ticket tournament last Wagner Bison here they have tied it in hand for the Jackrabbits doesn't get it but then Greasel steps out of bounds so South Dakota State will get it back Extra possession. Those 50-50 balls, loose ball rebounds are huge in these types of games. You got to secure that basketball. It's a cold spell here for South Dakota State. They've missed their last seven shots. They got a scoring drought of two minutes and 40 seconds. Easily will try to end it, and he does. Wilson with the kick out. Easily rings the bell. It's almost like a home game for South Dakota State, an hour south of Frost Arena in Brookings. The lion's share of the fans are wearing jackrabbit blue tonight here in Sioux Falls. A lot of t-shirts. Let's say Jacks. Quiets the crowd, a little shushing motion from Jerry's Cook. Cook. 
He's five and six. He's hitting three triples. He's that kind of player, Kevin. He had the exclamation point dunk in the second half yesterday. In the semifinals is Wilson. will have a chance at a three-point play. They're loosening up at the three-point line. There's the kick out by Wilson. Easily knocks it down. And now the deep three by Cook. Lights the crowd. Wilson's got the double-double, 18 points, 10 boards. Doesn't get the free throw to go. But he is as strong as new rope. Get him the ball. North Dakota State has never led. Edie on the baseline, stepped out of bounds. That's a big turnover. Now Charlie Hustle. Charlie Easley sliding his feet. Now we're being told that Luke Apple's night is probably done hobbling at the end of the South Dakota State bench. And Douglas Wilson going out that sore back. Tried to reverse. And he's going to draw the contact. So Wilson will get to the strike. And foul on Greasel. Wilson with 18 and 10. He's got his fingerprints all over this game. That's his first free throw make tonight. Instead of before, he gets to the stripe a lot. He's a 69% foul shooter, as you see Apple. Whether he comes back or not here in the late stages, probably unlikely. Four-point lead for South Dakota State. It's crunch time. And Nelson with a big basket. Man, Grant Nelson, the rookie. He's actually a COVID freshman, but he is a man. That is the mismatch they've been trying to take care of, take advantage of. He can put it on the deck. Great length, 6'11". They call him the unicorn because of his skill set. He had 20 points and 8 rebounds last night. See that bloody lip from that battle last night. Have to settle for two. Stays a two-point difference. They go to their money man, Douglas Wilson. He kicks it out for Mayo. Arians can't finish at the rim. Bison could take the lead with her three. Breezel. Nelson can shoot from outside, but he passes up on that three. Got that huge height advantage inside. Nelson working on Arians under 10 on the shot clock. Spins. Tried to skip it out. It's intercepted by Shireman. That's well, a big play from the player of the year in a big moment. And he tries to throw it cross court. Too many hands in the passing lane. Shireman falling away. No. And David Richmond wants a timeout. North Dakota State with a timeout. 321 to go. The bison down two. He had eight on it during that timeout. The Jackrabbits lead it by two with 3.21 to go in this championship game. They haven't lost since December the 15th. 12-point road loss at Missouri State. That's the only time this year they've been held under 70 points. Stuck at 60 now. NDSU has done a great job defensively and controlling the tempo of this game. Greasel gives the Bison their first lead of the night. Greasel with a quiet first half. 
He has stepped up his game the second half. The Stars need to shine. Bison have made their last five from the field, but easily answers back for South Dakota State to go back in front by one. Excellent pull-up jumper at the nail by Easley. Winner to the national tournament. Shireman and Griesel, two of the best guards in this league. And that's going to be a foul on Nelson, and it's Easley taking the charge. There's your Charlie Hustle kill. The kick out. Best shooting team in the country, South Dakota State, but they're down a point. Well, South Dakota State's got more bites at the apple, 61 shots to just 50. This is going to come down to who gets the extra possessions, whether it's a offensive rebound or you force a turnover. Ten turnovers tonight for the Bison, five for South Dakota State. The Jacks have really limited those. Two minutes to go. Shireman working against Cruiser. Got it! Got the matchup he wanted. Got his rhythm. That's the player of the year for you. Griesel rolls one in, and he's got a chance at three. Well, those are the stars you were talking about. They've got to shine in the second half, and they are here in crunch time. The step back triple for the player of the year in the summit. And the other first teamer, Sam Griesel, turns the corner, kisses off the window. Doesn't get the foul shot. So a two point lead for South Dakota State. Get an official's whistle here. They're going to adjust the shot clock. South Dakota State, their top three scores have three fouls, and they've got one guy on the bench with an injury in Luke Apple. Something to keep in mind here down the stretch. They played through Wilson, but now Shireman is starting to come to the forefront. They go back to Wilson, and he goes to the line, draws the contact from Cruiser. And that's his third. Wilson just under 70% from the free throw line. How good has Douglas Wilson been in this game? It's his third and final year at South Dakota State, their only senior. Not only a double-double, but he's got four assists as he has sprayed it out to his shooters. Breezel says, I'm going to the basket, just try and stop. You've got to meet him at the point of attack. That time he was going downhill. Got it right to the rack. North Dakota State has hit its last seven shots to make this interesting in the final minute. Down one. Shireman kicks it out. Nice shot fake by Mayo. Got it on the run. The freshman has ice in his veins. And now that crowd climbing all over the bison. Greasel for three. No. And now they'll foul Arians. What a basket by the freshman Zeke Mayo out of Lawrence, Kansas. Just a freshman. The shot fake and the rhythm bounce for Zeke Mayo. It's may be the biggest basket of his young career. Here's the guy the Jacks want at the line. 89% Alex Arians. And the calm veteran makes this a two-possession game. Veteran has given some instructions before he steps up for this one. 
who got it. It's going to belong to North Dakota State. Zeke Mayo almost able to retain possession. Now with 30 seconds left, we're going to go back to the monitor. And lower net all got in the tournament. So NDSU will have it. With 30 seconds to go, there's going to be some pressure here from the Jacks. I want to go fast to the rim. You're down four. Get a quick score. Set up your press. They get it to Greasel. They've got to hurry. Nelson, 20 seconds. Gets it to go. 69-67 and a quick timeout. I like that move better than trying to shoot the three. You have a lot of time left. Now you can extend the game. Try to get your hand. Nobody on the ball. They're going to front. Try to get a hand on the inbounds. And it is Arians. He will be at the line. Arians, one of two at the strike. He's got eight points. 18 seconds to go. He can make this a two possession game. In the last trip, he's got one of the two. There's no doubt that this crowd has been wind at the back of these Jackrabbits tonight. Almost like a home game here. Over 10,000 fans in Sioux Falls tonight. The Jackrabbits went 14-0 at Frost Arena this season. They've only had seven home losses in the last decade on their home floor. They've made this into a home floor. What an excellent environment for the great conference tournaments in America. Greasel with 14 seconds goes right to the rim. They don't foul him. And quickly they call a timeout, their last timeout. So David Richmond is out of timeouts with 12 seconds left down, which is already a record. Nice round number 30 would be good going into the NCAA tournament. I asked him about the pressure of going 18 0 and winning 20 0. He goes, We've never mentioned it. Don't talk about it. 12 oh. seconds to go. Shireman gets it into Mayo, and he's quickly fouled by Edie. Well, we saw the freshman hit that baseline jumper. The biggest of his young career, and now he gets an opportunity to go to the free throw line and add to that resume. There's the kick out. Watch that great shot fake. The floater off one foot. on the big stage. Mayo in double figures. The Jackrabbits have five in double figures. That's the first time a team in this Summit League Championship game has been able to do that since 2011. Huge free throw here. Two possession game with 11 seconds left. Greasel for three. The stick back, no. And South Dakota State is 0.3 seconds away from going dancing. What a year. What a year for the Jackrabbits. 18-0 in Summit League play. The first time in conference history a team runs the table in the regular season. And they are going to run the table in Sioux Falls and get to the dance for the sixth time in program history. Shireman ste stepped up late in this game and made plays as a scorer and as a passer. And what a production from Douglas Wilson.
The South Dakota State Jackrabbits have reached the summit once again.